Hello and happy Tuesday from this Tuesday baby at Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. Okay, we'll get the heavy lifting out of the way first so we can proceed and have some fun. Is Justice Alito high? Because he has reached a new low. And how did we get here? Remember when the United States Senate used to grandiosely, but largely accurately, describe itself as the world's greatest deliberative body? Square that with the name Herschel Walker. Hmm. And how did we ever get to a point where a proposal, a demand really, to suspend, terminate, turn off, invalidate, the United States Constitution, how did we get to a point where that would not be met with immediate universal condemnation and rejection? And now he says he didn't even say it. And you want to believe that. This is an earnest invitation, not just a rhetorical question. How does somebody else's happiness, productivity, desire to live their own lives their education, their ethnicity, their race, their attitudes, their practices, their orientation. How does that in any way impact your happiness? And what exactly is the problem? And if your answer even references your religion, you have a pronoun problem. Your religion can be binding on someone else, it cannot be binding on someone else. It can bind you, but arrogantly projecting that on others just is not rational. The only folks who don't understand this are simply the people who don't want to understand it. All right, that was Brady's 44th fourth quarter comeback victory. But here's what was different about last night. I doubted him. I did on that last drive. Silly, silly me. You know I'm not crazy about NFL alt uniforms, but those Saints black helmets were very natty. You have to admit that. Okay, looks like the OBJ thing is going to happen with the Cowboys, and I got friends and fellow Cowboy fans and family members kind of going back and forth. Is this a good thing or not? I will tell you, I have no problem with it. I think it's a good move. I think it's going to happen, and I think the fact the team got the Players Leadership Council involved that reflected some real intelligence there. It's clear that Jerry Jones is going all in to win the Super Bowl this year, and isn't that the whole idea? And I gotta say this, you know who is managing all this really well right now? Mike McCarthy. I never thought I would say that. All right, successful college football coaching is gonna require a brand new skill set going forward. This is all gonna be about being an HR officer with a whistle. And the most important thing you're gonna to have to handle is the transfer portal, who's coming, who's going, and staying ahead of this NIL thing. This is a brave new world in college football. And yes, even Nikki Saban is going to learn how to kiss players' asses. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying it's a thing. Um, I'm the biggest Rice Owl fan in the world. I can't figure this out. So Rice is going to an off-brand bowl game. Don't you have to have six wins to be bowl eligible? Rice is five and seven. And then also they're gonna play Southern Miss, a team they already beat once this year in a Conference USA game. I don't get it. I'm not griping, it's one more chance to see my beloveds. And that's a good thing. So now we're gonna find out who wants to play and who doesn't in the bowl season. There are a lot of players with NFL aspirations who are going to opt out to get ready for the combine. I'm trying very hard not to be judgmental about that. Texas versus Washington in the Alamo Bowl? How does Derek Fox do this every year? That is a wonderful matchup. I'm looking forward to that. No question about it. All right, I promise you, really, there were no pharmaceuticals involved in the formulation and expression of this opinion. But... Tyler Huntley of the Ravens, yes, he is a better NFL quarterback than Lamar Jackson. And I admire Lamar Jackson, but here's the thing. Tyler can do almost the same things with his legs 
that Lamar can do, but Tyler throws the ball much more like an NFL quarterback. And you know that Lamar has gambled on himself with respect to his contract negotiations. He may have just crapped out. Not even Rasputin has as many lives as New York Yankees general manager Brian Cashman. And finally, I mean this, playing women's college basketball tournaments in hotel ballrooms is shameful. It is shameful, it's dangerous and demeaning, and women hoopsters have every right to be pissed off. And this crap may be legally actionable in my view. Have a great Tuesday. We're Radically Rational.